Well, lawmakers are again aiming to wrap up the 21 2021 legislative session as soon as this week. Uh, we'll see if that really happens because there's still a lot of work left to be done at the Idaho State House, including several education related pieces of legislation. Some moved closer to the governor's desk today. Others were effectively killed. Joe Paris spoke with lawmakers about where key pieces of legislation now stand. Idaho lawmakers aim to wrap up the session. There are strong conversations about pieces of education legislation. A short time ago, a federal early childhood education grant passed the Senate by just one vote. The grant would invest money into local communities for early education initiatives. The grant has been a major talk here in recent days. Some lawmakers believe it will be used to promote social justice curriculum from national organizations for young children. The curriculum is all done by local control and by the families involved, the families, the businesses, the communities, uh, the parents and the child care providers. It's all done locally. Boise Senator Democrat Janie Ward Ingleking says that the notion that the grant would fund social justice classes for young learners is simply untrue. She says she was surprised that the vote was so close. There's no reason to to have this boogeyman out there that's not even viable, you know, when you when you look at it and think about a two year old indoctrinating a two year old and something like that, that's just crazy. With the grant passing by one vote, there is belief it will see significant challenges passing the Idaho House. House Speaker Scott Bedke says he expects a similar debate in the House that the Senate saw. I just heard here a few minutes ago that it did narrowly pass the Senate. And I, I expect there it to be, if it passes in the House, it'll be by a similar, similarly small margin. I, I just feel sick that we're once again not addressing the needs of our children and uh, because of political reasons, and that should never be. Children should come first. Senator Ward Ingleking says another major disappointment this week is seeing the funding bill for optional full-day kindergarten being effectively killed for the year. She says the legislation is being held at the committee level over a disagreement on how federal money that would power the plan is being used. You know, we've worked on this for eight years, and this was a time where everything lined up perfectly, and we had a pathway forward, and we had enough people on board to get it done, and so disappointing. Earlier in the session, there was major support for the bill and infusing federal aid money into a plan to fund full-day optional kindergarten. Speaker Bedke says once lawmakers understood more recently that the federal money could actually go towards other education and literacy programs at the local level, there was a shift in how lawmakers believe it would be best used. The good news is that there's nearly $750 million coming to all of the school districts in Idaho and this and with very few strings attached when it comes to literacy. And so literacy in one district may look like all day kindergarten and in another it may look like something else. Passing the state higher education budget is also a major task lawmakers have to accomplish. The House killed a budget last week because of concerns that too much taxpayer money would be funding social justice programs. Betke says lawmakers want to ensure that higher education funding is sticking to the fundamental cores of what colleges and universities need to accomplish. The core mission is to turn out uh, graduates that are prepared to enter the workforce. And I think that's, and so the farther we get away from that, the more problems we'll have. Some lawmakers feel the budget appropriation process is simply going too far. There's so many um, things out there that they're worried about. And the reality is we're an appropriation. Oh, JFAC is an appropriation committee. We do not set policy. That's outside our lanes. We are to set um, budgets based on the needs of the, in this case, the universities. All right, Joe, so this was the goal was they were going to come in after taking two weeks off because of COVID. They were going to come back in, run through two quick weeks and get on out of here and close up the 2021 session. How's that looking right now? That's not going to happen, Brian. Um, every lawmaker I've spoken with today tells me that finishing by Friday is simply impossible. There is too much work to get done, specifically with those budgets that JFAC needs to pass out themselves, then get through the House and the Senate. There's also that waiting period that uh, lawmakers will take as the governor is considering to either sign bills or veto them. They wouldn't want to sign a die and then have the governor veto a bill, and then they're not in session to overturn a possible veto. So I'm told by leaders at the 
State House that the earliest they would be done is possibly the end of next week, but that likely will not be the case either. So it may go even further than that. So coming back for maybe possibly a full month. Wow. All right. We'll see how that plays out. Thank you, Jim.